everyone, today I will be showing you how you can make the mystical chain knot. This knot is a variation of the endless falls knot. Let's get started. Attach one rope to a dowel rod with a lark's head knot. Then gently pull that lark's head knot loose so you have this horizontal loop below the dowel rod. Now take a second piece of rope and just stick it right through that loop and pull it through until it's even on both sides. Then you can pull your lark's head knot up top to tighten and secure it into place. Now our first step is to tie a reverse endless falls knot. To do this, I'm going to take the two outer cords here and cross them behind the two in the middle, forming a loop by taking the left cord over the right. It will look like you have two loops, one on the right and one on the left. Take your middle right cord and take it behind, around to go through the right loop. Do the same on the left side. Take it behind and around to go through the loop on the left. Pull those two outer cords to tighten this up. And then you can also pull your center ones too to make sure everything looks nice and neat. Now we're going to take those same outer cords back behind, crossing the left over the right to form our loop. This time though, we're going to send the two middle cords through the center loop here, okay? So instead of doing these outer loops, we're gonna go right in between the two center cords. So take that right middle cord behind to go through the center loop. Now take the left side behind, around, and through the center loop. Pull those blue cords to tighten it up, and then you can pull your middle cords as well to get everything to sit into place. And that is all there is to it. So we're just going to repeat the same steps. Those outer cords go behind the project to form two loops, one on the left and one on the right. Take the right cord up behind and through the right loop. Take the side on the left behind and around to go through the loop on the left. Pull it nice and tight. Cross those cords back behind and this time we're passing through the very center. Okay, so between the two center cords. As you tie this pattern, it will start to look like links on a chain. And all you do is just repeat the same steps over and over again, alternating between going through the left and the right loop and through the center. Just like that. You can leave your cords hanging just like this if you want, or you can end it with a gathering knot or a square knot. 
I am going to end mine with a square knot, so I'm going to take the side here on the far right and cross it over the two cords in the middle to form a loop. The side on the left is then going to go over that right cord, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. And then I'm just going to pull that nice and tight. Then the cord on the left crosses over the two cords in the middle to form my loop. The side on the right goes over the left, behind the two in the middle, and up through the loop. And I pull it tight. And that's just a fun way that you can secure the end, but otherwise you can also just leave it normal or use some kind of stop or knot as well. So it just depends on your own personal preference and what you're using this design for. Now if you turn your knot around, the back side is going to look just like an endless falls knot, okay? But the front side that we were just tying looks like a chain. So it's a very cool variation of the endless falls knot that you can of course use in all kinds of macrame projects. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.